In number 14, we have to distribute. We have 3a times a plus 4a squared. So we distribute the 3a across these two terms. So we'll have 3a multiplied by the a, and then 3a multiplied by the 4a squared, and those things will be added together. So I'll write out the intermediate step. It's 3a times a plus 3a times 4a squared. And it's good if you can solve this without writing that intermediate step. If you, should, you can look at this 3a times a and write 3a squared, and then in your head do the plus 3a times 4a squared, which is 12a cubed. Number 15, this one is again another exercise in combining like terms. But there's two different variables here. There's a 3x and a 6x. Those are the x terms. And there's a negative 2y and a negative 8y. Those are the y terms. And don't forget that those negative signs are part of the terms. Don't think of the four terms here as 3x, 2y, 6x, and 8y. Think of them as 3x, negative 2y, 6x, and negative 8y. OK, let's combine the terms. 3x and 6x combines to give us 9x. And then the 2y and the, I'm sorry, the negative 2y and the negative 8y combine to give us a negative 10y. So 9x minus 10y is the answer. In number 16, we're subtracting. We have to distribute this negative sign across this group. Here's the first step. This is 4a plus 3b. I can just rewrite those. 4a plus 3b. And this is minus 2a. And then this negative 5b is also subtracted because we're subtracting this whole group. When we subtract negative 5b, that's the same as adding 5b. So we've basically taken this problem and rewritten it, but we've dropped the parentheses. And in doing so, we've distributed this negative sign. Another way to think of it is this. A negative sign in front of a group changes the sign of each term in the group. So this 2a right here became a negative 2a. And there you see the negative 2a. And this negative 5b right here became a positive 5b. Think negative, negative 5b. The two negatives cancel each other out, leaving us with a positive 5b. Now we need to combine like terms. We have 4a and negative 2a. Those combine to give us 2a. And we have 3b and 5b. Those are both positive. Those combine to give us an 8b. So 2a plus 8b is the answer.